Today we are looking at multiplying matrices. Let us start. Suppose we have these two matrices, which is matrix A, whose elements is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. And then matrix B, the elements is J, K, O, L, M, P, Q, R, S. And then we are looking for the product of the two matrices. Now what is important, you must know that when you are given a notation like this, A multiplied by B, we are simply going to take this matrix multiplied by this one. And this one multiplied by this one is not the same as A multiplied by B. So this is not the same as B multiplied by A. The results will not be the same. So, in this lesson video, we are looking at how to multiply matrices. It's simple. What you need to know is that the first matrix, which is matrix A, we are going to multiply the first row with the first column to generate the first element of the new matrix. So the multiplication of the two matrices will yield uh, another matrix. So for element A, one row, one column, simply means the first row, first column. We need to multiply this and this. And then for, for this, we are going to multiply this and this. And then for the element one, the first row and the third column will be the first row and the third column. And then for, for this one, A21, it will be the first, I mean the second row and the first column. And then we are going to have A to 2, it will be the second row and the second column. And then we have A to 3, it will be the second row and the third column. Same goes to this element, A31, it will be this and this. Then also have we also have a three two it will be this and this and then lastly we are going to have a three three which will be this and this. Let us go straight into detail on how to multiply these matrices. So the first element of our new matrix it will be this row and this column. So we are going to take this element multiply by this. So it's A multiplied by J plus this multiplied by this. We have B multiplied by L plus this multiplied by this. We have C multiplied by Q. So this whole term will be equals to the first element. Going to the next element, which is A12, we are still considering the first row and the second column. So we have A, we have this A multiplied by this K plus B multiplied by M plus C multiplied by R. I hope you can see the pattern. Now we go to A13. We are still looking at the first row and the third column. So it's A multiplied by O plus B multiplied by P plus C multiplied by S. 
we still continue. Now going to A21, we are going to look at the second row of the first matrix multiplied by the first column of the second matrix. So it's D multiplied by J. We have D multiplied by J plus E multiplied by L plus F multiplied by Q. I hope you can see this. For A to 2, we are going to have D multiplied by K plus E multiplied by M plus F multiplied by R. For the sake of time, when performing this operation, I will be a bit fast. As you can see the trend, A to 3, we have D multiplied by O plus E multiplied by P plus F multiplied by S. A31, we have, we are looking at this and this. We have G multiplied by J plus H multiplied by L plus I multiply by Q. Let's actually Q. I hope you can see this A32. We have G multiply by K plus H multiply by M plus I multiply by R. And then lastly, we have A33, which is equals to G multiplied by O plus H multiplied by P plus we have what I multiplied by S. So I hope you can see this. And then we, we take each and every term we simply represent them in a matrix form and then we are going to have our multiple of our multiplication operation of matrix A and B. Let us look at the practical example. Suppose we have these two matrices and then we want to find the product of these two matrices. So we need to calculate. Now CD is equals to for now let me do this. Now we all know that multiplying this we are going to consider the first row and the first column. So we have 3 multiplied by 9 plus 4 multiplied by 2 plus 7 multiplied by 7. This will give us our A11. Then from here, We look at the first row and the second column. So we are going to have 3 multiplied by 5 plus 4 multiplied by 0 plus 7 multiplied by 1. This, this will be our A12. Now continuing, we have the second row and the first column. So we have 2 multiplied by 9 plus 3 multiplied by 2 plus
plus 5 multiplied by 7. So that will be our A21. And then we have, we are looking at A22. So it will be two row, second row, I mean, and the second column. So we are going to have 2 multiplied by 5 plus 3 multiplied by 0 plus 5 multiplied by 1. Going to the next one, we are going to have the last row and the first column. So we have 0 multiplied by 9 plus 1 multiplied by 2 plus 6 multiplied by 7. Then we look at the last one. We have the last row and the second column. We have 0. I don't know if this color is visible enough. Let me just change it. So we have 0 multiplied by 5 plus 1 multiplied by 0 plus 6 multiplied by 1. So this is our actual matrix. Now we just need to simplify. So we have 3 multiplied by 9 is 27 plus 4 multiplied by 2 is actually 8 and then we have 7 multiplied by 7 is 49 so we have 27 plus 8 we have 35 plus 49 35 plus 49 is equals to 84 so we have 84 here and then we look at a12 we have 3 multiplied by 5, it's 15. 4 multiplied by 0, it's actually 0. And then 7 multiplied by 1, it's 7. So we have 15 plus 7. The answer will give us 22. And then we move here. 2 multiplied by 9, we have 18. 3 multiplied by 2, it's 6. 5 multiplied by 7 is 35. So we have 18 plus 6 is 24. 24 plus 35 is 59. So this element is 59. We are here now. 2 multiplied by 5 is 10. 3 multiplied by 0 is 0. 5 multiplied by 1. It's 5 and then 5 plus 10, we have 15. And then looking at this one, we have 0 multiplied by 9, it's 0. 1 multiplied by 2, it's 2. And then we have 6 multiplied by 7, it's 42. So 42 plus 2, it's 44. Now looking at the last one, we have 0 multiplied by 5. We have a 0, 1 multiplied by 0, it's a 0, 6 multiplied by 1, it's actually 6. So this is the matrix of those two matrices multiplied. This is the product of those two matrices. Now before we conclude and end this lesson video, we need to understand some certain conditions. Suppose we have these two matrices, which is A and B. A, you can see it's a two by two matrix. And then B, it's a three by three matrix. Now the question is, can we multiply these two matrices? The answer is no. These two matrices are not compatible for multiplication operation. Now you need to understand something before we can multiply two matrices. For multiplication operation, the number of 
columns of the first matrix must be equal to the rows of the second matrix. So since this is our first matrix, we look at the number of columns. How many columns do we have? We have two columns. Now looking at the second matrix, how many rows do we have? We have three rows. So in this case, we cannot multiply the two matrices. We can quickly generate an equation to remember this. Now remember for, for matrices, we say it's a M by N, provided the number of rows is not equal to the number of columns. So if we have the number of rows which are equal to the number of columns, we can simply say it's N multiplied by N. So allow me to use different different letters to indicate. So let's say we have matrix A which has A by B and then matrix B which is C by D. In order for us to perform multiplication operation or to say in order for us to say the two matrices are comparable to each other for multiplication operation. This, remember, it's row and column. Row and column. This must be equals to this. So the column of the first matrix must be equals to the rows of the second matrix. So B must be equals to C. So if B is not equals to C, just know that we cannot perform multiplication operation. Suppose we have a two by three matrix, we want to multiply it with five by four matrix. You can see that this number is not equals to this one. So what happens? Not comparable. 2 by 3 matrix, 3 by 4 matrix. Comparable. You can see that the column is equal to the number of rows. This is Wahula SJ. Thank you very much.